We have Commanding General, the United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence, and Fort Nova Cell, Major General Michael C. McCurry. Welcome to the second quarter, fiscal year 2023, Instructor of the Award Ceremony. Before we present the awards, we'd like to thank the family members and special guests of the awardees for their support and for sharing in this honored occasion. Joining us today from the USA's command team is Mr. Robert Viewer, Deputy to the Commanding General. Chief Officer 5, Michael L. Lewis, Jr., Chief Officer of the Aviation Branch. Participating in today's ceremony are Mr. Sam Baker, Senior Vice President of the Aviation Center Chapter of the Army Aviation Association of America, and Mr. Otis Smith, President of the Fort Novacell Wiregrass Chapter of the Association of the United States Army. The guest speaker for today is Colonel Eric S. Poles, Director, Directorate of Training and Doctrine. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest speaker, Director of Directorate of Training and Doctrine, Mr. Colonel Eric S. Poles. Yeah. right this time because uh, last time I did this, the uh, microphone didn't work very well. So first off, I want to thank everybody for attending today. Obviously, the distinguished guests that are in front of us, CWAB, members of the Distinguished 06 Club that are in front of you, and of course, Mr. Dewar, thank you for attending today. But I met, most want to thank, thank the, uh, the family members for coming here to support their soldier, their instructor of the Corps, who is getting the awards today. And, and it's you that facilitates the best in all of us here at the Home of Army Aviation. So I'd like to start out with education is a cornerstone of our Army life. As many of you know, we go through a vast amount of PME and POIs for our entire time in the United States Army. This education is a shaping operation which sets the foundation for the beginning of every soldier's life in the Army. And I think sometimes that we lose track of how that affects not only the soldier, not only the Army, but America itself and our society. Most of our senior leaders started out as either privates, and or junior lieutenants, and they all had to go through instructors much like you sit in the front. And someday, some of them will become colonels, command sergeant majors of the branch, general officers, like General Patton, okay, General Golden, General Coley, command sergeant major of the United States Army. Profound impact that you have on these people. I myself am a product of Army aviation, good or bad. With my basic training at Fort Dix, New Jersey, and my AIT here at Yano Hall, I too am a product of your education. In fact, my service is what got my education and secondary education from the University of Maine. Like you, I am well studied in the art of education. I am instructor qualified and I currently teach on the platform just like you do. Becoming an educator and a master of fundamentals of education instruction and applicating application of learning rubrics is not easy. And once you are a professional educator, we are going to use you as often as we possibly can. Because good instructors are hard to find, especially in today's Army. Great instructors facilitate the foundation of learning for every individual soldier. It is on that foundation that great war fighters are developed and proven in the crucible of combat operations. I bet you that everybody in this audience today can remember who in their lifetime, as either a soldier or a civilian, their favorite instructor, their favorite teacher, their favorite college professor. Remembering early instructor life and what you did and remembering their names is gratefully important, it's, it's vastly important. I remember my mom and dad, of course, my grandfather who served in World War II, Coach Mood, but I also remember Drill Sergeant Corals, my 67 November instructor, Mr. Rodriguez over in Yenna Hall, Master Sergeant Timothy DeRaps from 10th Special Forces, who was my ROTC instructor, and Dean Poole at the University of Maine, who helped me stay on track, even though I did a fifth year lap. I also remember greats like Lieutenant General Martin, who was my squadron commander and a master of doctrine. I remember General Golden, General Hendricks, who was the Force Comms commander and also a great mentor and educator for me during my time here. Each of you here today have made a profound impact on the shaping of our Army's future and the soldiers that serve in our uniform. Without you, we could not conduct recon and security missions, air assault missions, deep attack missions, 
sustainment missions, and succeed on the modern battlefield. The single most important point that I want to make today is the profound impact that you have had on individual soldiers in shaping their life in the army. It will resonate with them for years to come what you did, and I'll give you an experience. My IP, Jimmy Weeks, Vietnam three-time distinguished cross flyer, had no idea he was that proven in battle, and he taught me how to fly. Remember him to this day. In doing this, you have set the conditions for continued capacity in the world's great fighters force, fighting force, and you have instilled a curiosity for continuing education in an entire generation of junior leaders and soldiers in the army. I'll leave you today with one thing. Your building of these great foundations that these soldiers have will pay off in dividends if we actually have to go and fight and push the world. What I would ask you to do is continue to build solid foundations for our soldiers, NCOs, leaders and civilians, you are truly outstanding, instructors and also educators. Be all you can be, love the FS, and thank you for your time today. Each quarter, Academic instructors, instructor pilots, non-commissioned officers, flight instructors from USA Support Nova Cell, to include the 1st Aviation Brigade, 110th Aviation Brigade, 128th Aviation Brigade, Warrant Officer Career College, Schools Ar School of Army Aviation Medicine, Non-Commissioned Officer Academy Fort Nova Cell, Non-Commissioned Officer Academy Fort Eustis, and Combat Readiness Safety Center are nominated by their supervisors or the honor of competing for instructor of the quarter. They are evaluated on quality of instruction, quality of materials developed and used, and quality of their presentation. After all the evaluations are completed, the scores are compiled, the winners of the quarterly competition are selected, and the instructors of the quarter are elected the best. In recognition for being selected as the United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence Instructor of the Quarter, the second quarter of fiscal year 23, each awardee will be awarded a certificate of achievement. The citation reads, for excellence in training while serving as an instructor at the United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence, your professionalism, dedication to duty, and technical expertise contribute to the success of your unit and the United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence. Your actions reflect great credit upon you this command in the United States Army. Signed, Michael C. McCurry, Major General, United States Army Commanding. Michael L. Lewis, Jr., Chief Officer 5, United States Army, Chief Officer of the Branch. And James D. Wilson, Command Sergeant Major, United States Army, Branch Sergeant Major. The instructors of the quarter Winners will also receive the following awards and gifts. Each winner will receive a certificate of appreciation from the Aviation Center chapter of the Army Aviation Association of America, an engraved mug from the Fort Nova Sill Wiregrass chapter of the Association of the United States Army, and a $50 gift card from the Fort Nova Sill Army and Air Force Exchange Service. We ask that each winner come forward as they are introduced and enter the stage as their personal narrative is read. The Officer Academic Instructor of the Quarter, Captain Shelby L. Swain, 1st Aviation Brigade. <laughs> Captain Swain is an officer academic instructor teaching the Aviation Branch Officer Leaders Course. Captain Swain enjoys preparing future officers in aviation operations. She enjoys having a direct role in preparing the Army's future of aviation warfighters. She gets to share lessons she has learned with enthusiastic junior officers who have been taught the basics of how to fly an aircraft, but yet to learn how those airframes are used operationally to accomplish the mission. She also gets the opportunity to teach the importance of administrative responsibilities as an officer. Ladies and gentlemen, 
AUSA's Officer Academic Instructor of the Quarter, Captain Shelby L. Smith. The Officer Flight Instructor of the Quarter, Chief Warrant Officer 2, Michael G. Wellbacher, the 2nd Alpha Company, 1st Battalion, 14th Aviation Reg Regiment, 110th Aviation Brigade. Chief Officer 2 Wellbacher is a flight instructor teaching the AH-64 Echo Aircraft Qualification Course. Chief Officer 2 Wellbacher enjoys instructing because he enjoys teaching, leading, and mentoring those around him. He seeks to build the strongest possible team by preparing every student to perform at a superior level in their operational assignments. He also understands the importance of mentorship, and he believes that the best instructors strive to become excellent mentors. He himself has benefited immensely from the mentorship he has received over the years. He wants to pay that forward. In addition, Chief Officer 2 Wellbacher seeks to instill a sense of pride within each student to the point where they truly strive to be their very best in every effort. Ladies and gentlemen, the USA's Officer Flight Instructor of the Quarter, Chief Officer 2, Michael G. Wellbacher. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the monitors above the stage. Attended virtually from Fort Eustis, the non-commissioned officer, academic instructor of the quarter, Staff Sergeant Travis R. Stover, 1st Battalion, 210th Aviation Regiment, 128th Aviation Brigade. Staff Sergeant Stover is a non-commissioned officer, academic instructor, teaching the cargo helicopter 47 repair force. Staff Sergeant Stover enjoys instructing because he gets to model that positive guidance and influence every soldier, providing them with the knowledge-based skills they need in their individual careers. Ladies and gentlemen, the USA's non-commissioned officer, academic instructor of the quarter, Staff Sergeant Stover. The non-commissioned officer flight instructor of the quarter, Sergeant First Class Adam Serio, Alpha Company, 1st Battalion, 223rd Aviation Regiment, 110th Aviation Brigade. <laughs> Sergeant First Class Adam Serio is a flight instructor teaching the CH-47 non-rated crew member flight instructor standardization instructor course. Sergeant First Class Serio enjoys being able to pass information and experience to the next group of non-rated crew members, passing techniques and skills that are not covered in the manuals and tools that will make the next line of crew members successful in their careers. Ladies and gentlemen, the USA's non-commissioned officer, Flight Instructor of the The civilian instructor pilot of the quarter, Mr. Casey D. Nixon, Delta Company, 1st Battalion, 223rd Aviation Regiment, 110th Aviation Brigade. <laughs> Mr. Nixon is a flight instructor teaching at the UH-72 Instructor Pilot Course and the designated astronaut instructor at U-6. Mr. Nixon is passionate about enabling and empowering students to become the best and brightest versions of themselves. Instructing is a hands-on form of mentorship. It is tremendously rewarding to see students grow in progress as they gain confidence and knowledge through our instruction. To see the light bulb come on and see students connect the dots of seemingly unrelated information and to impart a deeper understanding of the history that underpins much of what exists today is rewarding beyond measure. Ladies and gentlemen, the USA Civilian Academic Instructor of the Quarter, Mr. Casey D. Nixon. Mr. Baker will now take the opportunity to provide remarks. On behalf of uh, Marcus Hagler, the president of the Aviation Center Chapter of Association of the Aviation Association of America, I want to thank all these awesome instructors for what they do in the tip of the spear of creating the world's finest new aviators and uh, crew members. Uh, you know, as Colonel Poles had mentioned earlier, he mentioned a lot of names. I remember the names of my instructors when I came to flight school 30 years ago today. So 
So that when you leave an indelible impression upon those that you train every day. As a throughput of 1,400 officers here every year, you affect a lot of people around you. They're going to remember your name. You're not going to remember them, but all the faces are the same. But we really appreciate what you do for building this branch, and we thank you for your service. Mr. Smith will now provide remarks. Protocol that not already been established. I just like to echo what our guest speakers did, and also Mr. Baker. But you individuals, uh, you represent a small portion of our military because of the great training that you provide. You know, I can stand and tell you stories of uh, when I was an instructor 25, 30 plus years ago. But, but the key thing is, you make an impact on, on the individual. We don't know anything about it, really. Do you see the real estate? Uh, after this day, run across the division and say, hey, uh, Mr. Smith, so I you. you did X, Y, Z 15 years ago. Now, I don't know what I did, but they do. So you play an important part in these young soldiers and SEOs also that they'll ask as you train and teach them. And more so, I, I get to experience and tell you about even with our international students, because I work with international students. And a lot of them come in and talk about the great instruction they get from the great instructors that we have here at Fort Dover City. So your impact not only affects what goes on in the United States, but around the world. And, and it's very important. Just uh, another quick story. An Afghan student that went to train in 2017 here. Of course, you know, when everything happened, they're trying to get the censorship. He contacted me and he gave me the name of the instructor here. I reached out to that instructor. And uh, they tried to help the student get him back in. But he remembered the importance of that instructor still in you. So you play a very important part in these young individual lives as they grow and become professionals in our military. Again, thank you for what you do on behalf of the Associated United States Army and continue to be all that you can. Thank you. United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence and Fort Novoselic's Reference of the Quarter.